Americans have always had a great sense of adventure, and one of the ways we found that adventure is running the rails. And yes, I'm talking about trains. We're here in Chicago, Illinois, rolling down the tracks of the Canadian Pacific Railway. Canadian Pacific is one of North America's major freight railways. We move the nation's commerce, connecting Canada to the U.S., U.S. to Canada, and North America to the world. Serving 26 years in the rail industry, it's no wonder why Keith Creel's devotion and leadership is so strong. He was built and shaped in the military, something he holds true to himself and his company. Over 10% of our workforce in the U.S. have previous military experience. At CP, we love working with veterans because we believe firmly and we know to be true that uh, veterans are great leaders. In 2018, CP has already hired over 100 military veterans. Canadian Pacific is, is a great company to work for. It has met many of the values uh, and standards that the, the military has. Some people have been in the military for 30 years and never had to have an interview in their lives. As manager of veteran relations, Rory's job is to extend a helping hand, actively recruiting, exiting military and military veterans to CP. A yard is no different to being in operations. It's an operating type environment, very stressful, high tempo. These guys have proven that they can lead and operate in that environment. I know being a veteran, the challenges uh, and the sacrifices that these individuals have made. The trains will always arrive at your station. The question is, which one to take? A challenge that conductor Antonio Esposito has faced one too many times in his life. Where do I begin? Um, I've been struggling my whole life. Uh, I was adopted at five months old out of Bronx, New York. Uh, at the age of three, I was diagnosed with uh, leukemia. After beating cancer, Antonio joined the United States Air Force at the age of 18. After my four years, uh, my transition out of the military was, was rough also. Uh, nobody expects to be homeless. Uh, that's not something that you, that you plan for. That's not something that you expect. I was homeless for about six months. You know, you get the structure of the Air Force and everything like that. Nobody, no one tells you how hard it is going to be on the outside. You think that automatically because you're a veteran, that it's easy to find jobs out here. A similar transition for assistant train master James Laney after his time served in Iraq. I just remember trying to talk to friends and nobody understood. Nobody could relate. Then all of a sudden you just feel like you're trapped in a wall of nobody understands me. And so I uh, went to a deep depression. I went to my grandma's house and I never left. Literally never walked outside, never did anything. Just locked myself in a room. And she would feed me and uh, I would just sit there in total darkness for day in, day out. Trying to deal with my demons, as I put it. Um, it was very, very real and very, very tough. July 6, 20, 2010, I came outside for the first time after being locked in a house for two years. Like trains, veterans are built to take on any obstacle, to push through the storm, and ride out the darkness to find the light at the end of the tunnel. I don't accept failure. You know, it's either you learn or you succeed. There is no losing. You know, I, I, I knew I couldn't quit. You know, I started networking and I, I, talked to, uh, I talked to a fellow veteran. There is a network out there of soldiers that if you're going through it, you can call another fellow soldier. Talk to them. What you need to do is just stay focused. Know that there are opportunities out here for veterans. There are networks. You know, you got to be willing to push through the struggle. It's not always going to be the same. You're not always going to be in that predicament. You, you, all you got to do is keep trying, keep trying, and keep pushing through, and you'll eventually make it out. My mentality is the same on the railroad. We either going to figure it out and succeed, we're going to keep trying until we do. As a former veteran, I want to thank you for your commitment, for your sacrifice, and for your service to your country. As you make a transition to the civilian world, consider CP as your employer of choice. CP and, and the military, soldiers and rail, they go hand in hand. The one thing I didn't know is that I'll be embraced by a bunch of other soldiers that had all gone through the same thing. They're not working at CP. If you or someone you know is a veteran and would like to get on the right track, Visit CP's website at CPR.ca slash veterans or our website at militarymakeover.tv. How many people 
can say they work for trains every day and, and do the things that we do out here. All my life, is, it's been a struggle, you know, and just, this, is just, this is just a dream come true for me.